In the first semifinal matchup of the day, it was the top seed Jacksonville against the four seed Florida Gulf Coast University. Jacksonville showed why they were the top seed this season. They don't make mistakes. They do not beat themselves. And when you're, you play that kind of volleyball, you make your opponent have to play almost perfect volleyball to beat you. That being said, Florida Gulf Coast played some very good volleyball, led yeah. by Caitlin Holt. Very good volleyball, passed very, very well, and blocked really well, too. So a good job and, and a, a very skilled team with a bright future. But as you said, Neil, boy, Jacksonville really brings it from every angle on the floor. And they came up with the big points when they needed to. They won the first two sets in tight fashion, but Florida Gulf Coast answered. Yeah, they answered, and they answered very, very well. And it's going to be interesting to see as they move on how this move plays itself out because uh, I tell you, Jacksonville has some weapons that are tough to deal with. Indeed, Gabriel Roman off the bench, helped ignite Jacksonville in the fourth set. And eventually, even though there was some tough play from Florida Gulf Coast, she and Sammy Strawbaugh, they allowed them, Jacksonville, to advance. Yeah, they, should, they sure did. And basically, Roman, the, Roman, the, the right, the left-hander, finds the high hands. So that did it for Florida Gulf Coast University. The top seed Jacksonville in the finals for the first time since 2007. They'll meet Lipscomb with an NCAA bid on the line on Saturday.